What is up? I'm Jason with the Honest Finance Channel. Today I'm just gonna do a quick video on how to calculate percentage increases and decreases so that you can do the math yourself. This is really easy math, but you've gotta understand how to do it in order to make use of it. Knowing how to figure out increases and decreases is a big deal because it'll actually help you when you're making purchases in your life. And I'm gonna use two different cars' gas mileages in order to help you figure this out. So let's say that you drive a car right now that gets 32 miles per gallon and the new car that you wanna buy is going to be getting 24 miles per gallon. So this is how you do the math. You just take the original number 32 and you subtract it by the new number of 24 giving you eight. Now you're gonna take eight and you're gonna divide that by the original number, your original car being 32 miles per gallon. So now you get 0.25, which is actually a 25% decrease because you're going down in gas mileage. So now you know that the new car you're gonna be buying is 25% less fuel efficient than the current car that you're driving right now. So now it's really easy to do the math on how much more fuel you're gonna be using with the new car versus the old car. Just remember to always take the original number and subtract it by the new number. That way you're getting an accurate result. So let me just put this into a business perspective for you. So let's just pretend that for some reason you sell pencils and this month you sell 87 pencils and next month you sell 96 pencils. Well, what's the increase percentage? It's obvious that you had an increase, so just take 96 and subtract that from 87 so that you get a positive number. If you know that you had a decrease, then just do it the other way around so that you end up with a negative number in the end. It's the same thing, you just need to understand whether or not you're having an increase or a decrease. So once we subtract the two numbers, you're gonna get positive nine. So now just take the nine and divide that by the 87 pencils that you originally sold. And according to the math, it looks like you just had an increase in pencil sales of just a hair over 10%. So there you go, there's one more example. I hope this makes sense because it's not very difficult to understand. You just need to understand the simple math of how it works. Once again, I'm Jason with the Honest Finance Channel. If you did find this video helpful, feel free to subscribe. I like to talk a lot about different financial subjects. This was just a quick video to get some math out for you guys. That's all.